Hi, this is Sheeta Hunter, and this video is about Spritz technology. A while back, I wrote an article about Spritz. Spritz is a technology which delivers text streaming, and it also has what's called, or what they call, reticle technology. It's a special visual frame with red letter alignment, and you can see that here. Here's the frame. It highlights one letter in red, and with that letter being in red, it positions everything in one straight vertical alignment so that your eyes aren't bouncing back and forth. With this red letter alignment, your eyes stay positioned in one location, and the words are actually moving instead of your eyes, and this will allow you to read faster. You can read more about Spritz on their website, spritz.com. There are recent updates to Spritz. One is that there is a new Spritz ebook reader. The name is ReadMe, and you can also add a Spritz bookmark to your web browser so that you can read web pages using the Spritz technology. Let's first add that bookmark. So I'm going to click right here on this link and it's going to open up the new page where I can add this spritzlet as they call it. So I'm going to take this spritzlet and just drag it to my menu bar, my favorites, and there it's added. So if I want to read the web page using spritz technology, I now just click on that bookmark and it starts streaming text. You can pause it you can go forward and backward. You can also adjust the words per minute that are streaming across the screen. But unless you have an account, you cannot go past 450 words per minute. So you can just click on the login button and it will take you to create an account or to log in. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. You can also add this bookmark to your iPad. There are special instructions for you to add it. Uh, simply copy the code that's in the frame. So let's copy the code. Copy. After the code is copied, I'm going to click on the page icon with the upward facing arrow. And I'm going to select a bookmark and let's rename this bookmark and I've already done this once so I'm gonna name this Spritz 2 I had to make sure this worked and I want to set the location as my favorites bar so let's click on favorites and now let's choose save now clicking on the bookmarks icon going to favorites and that one is down at the very bottom. I'm going to choose Edit, and let's click on that bookmark. You want to select the second line with the URL, and you want to delete the contents that's presently there. And remember, the code has been copied already, so I'm going to choose Paste. And now, I'm done. And done again and let's see if this works. So let's see if Spritzlet 2 can read this page. So I'm going to click on my favorites. I have extra here and click on Spritzlet 2. It opens up the screen and begins reading this web page. You can drag again to 450 words per minute if you do not have an account if you log in you'll be able to increase that words per minute streaming all right let's pause that as I mentioned earlier there's also a new app that uses the spritz technology the name of the app is readme exclamation mark and it is a dollar ninety nine in the app store so I've downloaded the app. Let's open it and see what's inside README. No, I don't want to see that. So I've already downloaded one book. I'm going to show you how you can add ebooks into the README app. 
you cannot import um, ebooks or epubs that you already have in your iBooks library unfortunately I hope that at some point this technology is available using iBooks it would be very very helpful I'm going to swipe to the left and you'll see on the right hand side uh, the library section where it has my library and you can also add books and there's also an about section let's choose add books interestingly enough there's already been an update to this app while I was creating <laughs> this video so things are starting to look a lot better so I've clicked on add books and it um, lists how many ways you can add uh, books to this app so first of all let's click on download books right now and let's click on this link here and I can add books from Project Gutenberg many books, feed books, open library, and an internet archive. So let's select Project Gutenberg. Click on the link and it will take me to the site. And I'm going to search for a book. How about Tale, Tale of Two Cities? And select search. It brings up the book, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I'm going to click on this link. Uh, I don't want to open it. There you go. So um, now I'm presented with Read This Book Online, EPUB, Kindle, Plain Text, More Files. I want to select the EPUB version and choose Download and Install. And now I'm going to click on the arrow in the up le upper left corner to go back. And, and if I swipe to the left again and choose My Library, here I have Tale of Two Cities. Let's click on it. Now I'm going to tap on the center of the page and it actually has this little icon looks like a little magnifier and you can move this around if you want I'm going to start there and then tap on it and it opens up the spritz frame and start streaming now it will also turn the pages and keep streaming so you don't have to do that and I'm going to tap on it on the frame. I'm not logged in, so I can only go as far as 450 words per minute. You know, that is a problem. <laughs> I hate logging in all the time with this. So hopefully, guys, uh, you can fix that, especially with the website, that I don't have to log in all the time. Thank you. But this is a great way to read. And it would be helpful if I could, if I missed something, if I could just stop it and scroll the words back or forward. Uh, just a feature request, thank you. But otherwise, I'm very much um, amazed with this technology. I love it. It helps uh, read books faster. And I'm hoping that it can be incorporated in iBooks and other uh, even PDFs formats. So that would be very helpful. I have thousands upon thousands of PDFs on my uh, laptop. So this has been a review of Spritz technology, the app and the browser uh, bookmark. Um, hope this was helpful. Thank you. This is Sheeta Hunter. Until next time.